birthplace of the world's first currency designed to commemorate a mother and son, Ojuk Han, a house that embraces the dream of Shin Sa Im Dang. Ojuk Han, treasure number 165, located Kang Neng Shi, originated from the bamboo that was black as a crow, which once grew in the backyard of this historical house. Ojuk Han House has considerable architectural value as a representative example of houses from the early Joseon Dynasty. It is the oldest extant single residential building dating from the Joseon Dynasty. The revered people who were born in this house. Shim Saim Dang, who was born into a prestigious family in Gangneung. She gave herself the pen name, Saim, to express her determination to evaluate Taim, who was the mother of King Wen, who was renowned for laying the foundation for the Zhu dynasty. Shin Saim Dang exhibited outstanding talent for poetry and painting from an early age. At only seven years old, she was already able to draw landscape paintings, emulating the work of painter An Gyeong, Jari Do, San Su Do, Cho Jung Do, Yeon Lo Do, Po Do Do. She was known to excel particularly in painting grapes. It was said that no other painter could emulate her in this genre. There is a famous antidote that a chicken playing in the yard pecked at her painting, Cho Chung Do, mistaking the image for a real insect. The forms of the grass and the insects are very similar. How could a painting created by a matron be so alluring? We emulate the painting for a folding screen in the palace. Your Song Ojin, 1715. In addition to being a master of poetry, calligraphy, and painting, Shin Sang Dang was also erudite and was famed as an outstanding mother to her children. She always treated her children with consistency, with a beloved heart. In scholarship, she taught that the process, not the result, was more important. She set the example herself by persistently reading and cultivating her knowledge. Maintain dignity, but do not be extravagant and be intelligent, but do not boast. Shin Saim Dang. There were seven siblings, including Yul Gok Yi Yi. They later composed a document titled Yi Yi Nam Me Hua Hui Mungi, regarding the distribution of inherited property. This work remains an important part of Korea's documentary heritage, demonstrating the institution of equal inheritance of the Joseon Dynasty. Shin Saim Dang was renowned as a virtuous and wise woman. Her thoughtfulness and her outstanding talent serve as examples for us to emulate today. Since 1969, an event celebrating Sin Saim Dang has been held every May. The event includes art competitions in nine different fields, including calligraphy, poetry, essays, and tea ceremonies, with the aim of cultivating and enriching women's culture and carrying on the spirit of Sin Saim Dang. Shim Saim Dang is the first woman in Korea to be featured on the national currency. Her name has come to represent the ideal of a wise mother and good wife. Although she lived in the Confucian society of the Joseon dynasty, she engaged in arguments with her husband, criticizing the concubine system, and proved herself to be an intellectual with strong independence and erudition. She was also an educator who customized her approach to education according to the different talents of her children. Beyond being an excellent mother and wife, Saim Dang had a clear sense of her worth and cultivated her outstanding talent as a painter and poet. In the Shijo poetry, written when she raised young Yogo and left her parents' home, we can empathize with how she misses her own mother, as any daughter would feel. Gazing on my parents' home while crossing Taeguayong, my heart aches as I leave for Seoul alone. Leaving my aging mother back in our hometown, I turn my head to gaze northwards towards home, where the white clouds float above the green mountains as evening descends.
I'm not afraid. 